This is Liz. Welcome to my little urban homestead. Um, let's talk lids, in particular tattler lids. I've been using tattlers now for around about six, six years. Um, I worked out at the time the cheapest metal lids I could get were approximately seven pounds something for a dozen now that made them quite expensive 50 pence ago um, so whatever you put in the jar if you've grown it yourself it's cost you nothing but the lids cost you 50 pence and I didn't think that was very good value so I looked on eBay and you could bulk buy some well before I went in for that I um, bought some tattlers because I thought yeah good idea it's a bit more expensive but I can reuse them again and again so I bought a few boxes of tattlers and I liked them and I worked out that it was a lot cheaper to actually bulk buy now uh, about a year ago I did another bulk buy of the regular mouth lids and it was approximately £60. I uh, don't know how much that converts to in American dollars but it's 60 Great British Pounds. Uh, there was a bit of an import charge I think but not that much and I've just had a look this morning on eBay to get a similar thing to bulk buy the tattle lids and they are all named tattle brands uh, the first time they came in boxes tattle boxes the second time they just came in a box with these plastic containers <laughs> plastic bags in them but um, bulk buying 10 dozen that's 120 lids uh, they, they're approximately averaging out round about 60 pounds and then you've got your shipping on top so I worked out if your shipping's 20 pound and 60 pound to buy that's as um, priced these that's as prices are now at the moment. That's a total of £80. Now you break that down, that means that it's around about £8 per dozen. Which is more expensive than buying the metal lids, but you can only use the metal lids once you can use these 10 times so that's the equivalent of buying 10 dozen they'll have cost me eight pound if i bought 10 dozen metal lids it would cost me about 40 50 pounds something like that that's one hell of a saving uh, in my eyes i've done a quick working out it's probably wrong but <laughs> quick working out here eight pound per dozen for the tattle lids and the rubber ring that works out at six and a half pence no sorry that works out at 65 pence per lid which is still more expensive than the metal lids but I can get 10 uses out of that so that's 10 times so it's six and a half pence per lid now to me that is a lot of difference eight pound for a dozen tattlers 
which will last me 10 goes, um, 10 uses, as opposed to approximately 40 or 50 pound. <laughs> Makes a difference. So 65 pence that I can use it 10 times which is £8 per dozen or I pay about £5, £6 for one dozen. It, it just made no sense to me to, uh, to utilise the metal lids. So I more or less went straight to Tatler's. Uh, when I started canning. So I'll zoom you in here now and I'll talk about how I actually use them. The reason we aren't in the kitchen is because my washing machine's going and you won't hear me over the noise of that. Now when I got this second batch they were just in these plastic bags so couple of bags of the rings and yes I have got more of them still and a couple of bags well yeah a couple of bags of the seals first time round it was just they were all in a dozen boxes and that's how it is that's how they came now to use the tackle lids I went as per oh, I went as per the boxes of the original tattle lids and I do them the same thing. Uh, when I'm getting ready to can, I will put on a pan of uh, boiling water and I'll boil those for a while because they can discolour slightly. So I put them on to boil and it brings them up nice and fresh and white. Sometimes I'll even put a drop of vinegar in. Sometimes I'll do it not on a canning session. I'll just put them in to whiten them up and clean them up. They're, and uh, they can boil away for as long as you want until you're ready to use them. And then what I do is my rings, I throw them in the pan of boiling water, turn the heat off, put the lid on and move it to wherever I need it to do my canning. I've got my uh, bands which don't need sterilising at all and you don't on pressure canning anyway. But when I've filled up my jar with the appropriate headspace. The majority of it is um, in pressure canning, uh, seems to be one inch headspace. But I filled up my jar. I've got tongs downstairs that I, rather than putting my hands in boiling water, I've got the tongs that I pull them out with. So I pull out the ring first put it in my hand and it's normally very very hot then the lid and then I just drop it over the top and it fits lovely I then hold the sides of it so I'm not transferring anything to the seal itself you treat your jaw exactly how you would for metal lids um, wipe it down with um, a vinegar, a clean damp cloth or vinegar but I hold it like that and as you can see the ring stays in place and I just put it on top of the jar and then get the, the band and put it on and as you can see I'm not putting any pressure at all and as soon as it starts to move on my countertop I don't tighten it anymore at all because uh, they always say that you've got to 
tighten it to finger tight and then loosen it off which is a pain in the bum you don't exactly get it right so this is what I do and it works for me as soon as it turns that's it when it comes out of the canner after it's had its processing time it comes out of the canner I put it on my work surface I've got an oven mitt on one hand and a cloth in the other hold it crank it down and then just leave it that's all I do so it comes it comes out out of the can hold it crank it down now on odd rare occasions as your bands get old I've had it where the bands just turned and turned and turned and not cranked down so I've cranked it as much as I can do put it to one side and then the next day when it's all cooled down as sometimes don't have a seal sometimes they do but sometimes they don't but I throw that band away because I know it's not working right now when you get your tatlers can't really make it out on this one How's that one? where they obviously make them and print them out they're attached there's a little teeny bit I don't know if you'll be able to make it out on on this one it's it's minute you can't see it but on some it's a little bit bigger and it can catch in your ring so you don't get the the right turn so just get a file and file that down that's not a problem yeah if your rings your bands are getting old throw them uh, it, it, it's just not worth having a failed seal because your ring, uh, your band isn't working. That's the ring, how it comes. Don't know if this camera will pick it up. And as you can see, it's a light colour. It looks a bit like it's got chalk on it, but it isn't. And it's very, very bendy. As you get to use them, the they're still bendy but not as bendy and these possibly got another couple of uses to go and then they'll be very stiff very hard and um, uh, that's when I throw them because I don't know how many times I've used uh, a, a ring so I judge it by how bendy it is <laughs> So these I'll probably use a couple of more times and then I'll notice how stiff rigid they are and I'll throw them. It's norm normally when I uh, am getting ready to do a canning session I put the leads in the boiling water but the rings if I'm canning eight jars I will uh, pour in ten rings just in case I pull one out because sometimes these stretch and they're too big for they've been used a while and that's how it's starting to go it's too big to go uh, on your disc so it has to be discarded so I've always got another one that I can use that's the right size so I always put in more seals than I need so that's how I deal with tattle lids. If any of you have got a specific question that I haven't answered in this video, please, by all means, leave me a comment and I'll get back to you. If I can't explain it in a comment, I'll do another video just for you. And I did a, a video for... Angela Connies um, when she started wanted to use Tatlas uh, I sent her she's also a UK canner I sent her some tattle lids so she could try them out and also um, some video footage 
to show how to use them. Yeah, so that's it. Uh, I've been through what I've done. Um, there is a learning curve with it. Uh, I won't say there isn't, but because I learnt with tattlers rather than metal lids and then moved over to tattlers, it was a learning curve the whole lot of experience for me. Uh, I used to have a lot more fails, uh, failed seals. Out of eight jars, I probably get one that doesn't didn't seal on me which I wasn't too bothered about I'd put it in the freezer or would use it up one seal was not too bad but I did a butcher's haul on Friday and so over the weekend and Monday I canned over 40 jars um, majority of this as well I had one uh, there was yeah some litters but mainly pint jars I had one fail on the tattler leads and that was due to a ring that just kept turning and turning and wouldn't seal down so I've, I've thrown that uh, rip band now I had I only did six jars in these wide mouth of chicken and they had metal lids and I had two fails on those which goes to show me I'm a lot more used to tattlers than the metal lids but then again they were the lids that came with these jars so it could have been that but easy enough sorted it's I put them uh, into containers and they're in the freezer now. I could have redone them when I was doing other things, but I haven't got the space. But out of over 40 jars, I had three fails. Two metal lids, one tackle lid, and that one was because of the ring. So I'm going through a very good <laughs> seal rate time. But as you can see, the shells behind me are getting rather full. I'm, as you saw, I've still got quite a few tattler uh, lids because I've got about another 30 jars to do, uh, which are different vegetables. I want to do mushrooms, pineapple, things like that. Uh, I've got, only got about 30 pint sized jars left so I should do that alright because I've got I want to put mushrooms and the pineapple in half pint jars anyway so I have got enough of those and then that's it I will be fully stocked up my freezer is crammed full of different foods at the moment so I'm going through them, the ready-made meals, go through them, then I can go and do a grocery shop and get me fruit and veg, yeah, not fruit, I've got fruit, get me veg so that I can can it up and then I will be set until about March next year so I will go grocery shopping in the next couple of weeks that's November so I'm going to have a few months about three or four months no shopping at all if I want the odd things then I'll um, ask Lurch to pick them up when he goes past the supermarket so thank you bye It's a perfect situation